Hey there, welcome to LiveCode Stream, where we not only talk about programming, data science, and artificial intelligence, but we also code. I'm your host, Juan, and today we're going to be solving the special string again challenge on HackerRank. So let's get started. Now let's jump into my computer. A special string again is a challenge on HackerRank. It's a typical challenge that you may find on in interviews. And when we encounter any problem like this, either because you are preparing for an interview, you, sim you simply want to learn, or you are in the interview itself, the first thing you want to make sure is that you understand the problem. Understanding the problem will get you 50% to the actual solution. So let's read the problem statement here and let's try to analyze it. A string is said to be a special string if either of two conditions are met. All of the characters are the same. So for example, AAA, all of the characters except the middle one are the same. So for example, AADAA. A special substring is any substring of a string which meets one of those criteria. Given a string, determine how many substrings can be formed from it. And let's take an example that they provide here. So we have this particular string, MNO and OPPO, and then they give us the possible solutions. So M, N, O, N, O, P, O, O, N, O, N, O, N, O, O, P, O, and O, O. At first time, something I didn't thought of when I read the problem statement is that each one of the individual letters is an actual part of the solution. So that will help us later on. So additionally, Hacker Run always provides an input example. So a full workout example with an input. In this case, it's the word A, S, A, S, D. And the solution is seven. And that solution is composed by each one of the independent letters. Uh, so the five letters and the strings A, S, A and S, a S. So let's try to break this down and analyze the problem from the two different scenarios perspectives. I'm going to jump now into my Visual Studio code, but not because I want to start coding, but because I want to start working on analyzing the project, the problem itself. So we're going to have a scenario one. Oops, scenario one, which is going to be our A A A A example, and we're going to have in scenario two which we are going to use the example they provide here, which is ASASD. So for the scenario one, we need to analyze how many different substrings we have in this particular string that met the first criteria. All the letters are the same. So the first one is all the letters are the same, right? So four letters, uh, there's only one possible combination. For three letters, we have two different combinations. We have the first one are the first three digits or the first three characters. And the second solution could be the last three characters. So we have two possible. Uh, for two letters, we have either the first two characters, the last two characters, or the middle two. So we have three possible solutions. And then for one letter, as we already saw, we have four different solutions, each one of the characters individually. So if we take a look here, how many total possible solutions we have, we have a total of 10 different solutions. It is quite easy now to understand this when we take a look from this perspective, but to program this, it could get a little bit tricky unless we know a statistical formula that will give us all the possible combinations. And it actually exists and it goes something as follows. So our result is going to be n multiplied by n plus 1 and everything divided by 2. And so if we take a look to our example, our result will be 4 multiplied by 4 plus 1, which is 5, and all that divided by 2, and that gives us 20 divided by 2, which is 10. So we got to the same result. This is awesome. But we can use this formula to calculate the, the number of combinations that we have for all character when all characters are the same. Now let's take a look to the second scenario. So for the second scenario, 
what we want to do is we want to find for each one of the individual letters, uh, we want to investigate the neighbors. What do I mean by that? Well, let's take an example. Let's take the first letter, the letter A. Well, we know this couldn't be a solution because in order for A to be a solution, it needs to have a character on the left, which is equal to the same character on the right. And there's nothing on the left of A. So the first character we can start analyzing is actually S. So when we start with S, if we go to the left side of S, we have an A. A is different than S. And, this, and the character on the right is also an A, which is the same as the character on the left. So we found a solution. What now what we can do is because we can have another A on the right side, right? So so we want to make sure not only that we cover the immediate neighbor, but all the neighbors that have add sections to it. So when we go one more letter forward, we have the S. So the S is different than the A. So that means that these letters are not the same anymore. So we only could count one of these words. After we do the analysis with the letter S, we move to the next one, which is the letter A. And in this case, we do the same thing. We take a look at the immediate neighbors. They are the same, so that's a possible solution. We extend um, by one amount of letters the neighbors, and we see that we have a different letter here. So we stop processing for that letter. And then we continue to the next one, which is going to be the S. The immediate neighbors of the S are different, so that's not a solution. So we continue to the next one. Then we are in the letter D, which has no neighbor on the right side. So we already figured out all the possible solutions. Awesome. So let's start coding this. I'm going to now jump into HackerRank, and I'm going to start working on a solution. And here's the area where we can work with the product. Um, we need to complete the substring count function, which receives two arguments, n, which is the number of characters, um, and s, which is the actual string we want to analyze. So as we said, we're going to start with statement number one, which is all the letters are the same. Uh, so we want to do here, first of all, we will need a variable that we are going to use to accumulate our the, the number of results. And we are also going to need an a letter, which we're going to use as an index when we go on and loop through the strings. The next thing we want to do, so we are going to have a while statement. And then we are going to say, well, i uh, is, li is less than n. So we're going to loop through the whole string. And inside here, we're gonna create a new variable to count how many characters are actually the same. And then when a character on the right is actually different, we're gonna start a new sequence. So let's start doing that. So the first one, the first character that we need, let's call it char count. And we're gonna initialize it in one, which is the string that I'm, or the character that I'm now evaluating. And then we're gonna say while i plus one is less than n. So meaning I, I didn't went through um, the characters and s of i. So the character in my position is equal to my next neighbor. So if they are equal, I'm still on the same place. If it's equal, I'm moving like from one to one, but I'm part of the same string solution or the first some string. So now we are going to, in case we do that, we are going to say that i plus equal one, because we need to move i as well. And we need to increase our chart count plus one. So once we are done, we're going to find that our string will contain all of the, or our chart count will contain in this case four. So the four letters that found that were exactly the same. So when we do that, now we know that we need to increase our result. And we need to increase our result by this formula right here. Our char count is going to be multiplied by our char count plus 1. And all that divided by 2. And because we want to make sure the solution is an integer, we're going to convert all this to an integer. Divided by 2 sometimes can give us a field value. right? So, And then we're going to increase i to continue with the next character and start the evaluation process once more. So this will give us the solution for the first part of the solution. So for the scenario one, but now we need to do scenario two. The scenario two will be slightly different. So we're gonna use a for loop uh, for the case of a scenario two, and we're gonna go from one to n. Uh, we are gonna go from one because it doesn't make sense to analyze the first letter as we already saw, it's not a possible solution. 
I forgot to kill that in. And now we're gonna do our chart count. So same thing. Um, we're gonna start counting how many characters or how many neighbors we have that actually are the same. And so we're gonna do a big while condition here and we're gonna say what well, I plus chart count is less than N. So we, we don't go out of boundaries. And we also don't, cannot go out of boundaries to the other side. So we need to make sure uh, that we are within the boundaries. Then we need to check whether the S at the position that I'm currently on. So for example, the letter S, it's gotta be different from the face neighbor. That's the first condition. So it's gotta be different than S of I minus one. And we need to make sure that the two neighbors from both sides uh, on the edges are the same. So I minus chart, minus chart count is gonna be equal to S of I plus chart count. Perfect. And the next thing we need to do is because we can be evaluating this letter right here when we are in here. So we need to make sure that the second level neighbor is equal to this first level neighbor. And the third level neighbor should be equal also to the first level neighbor because we only want to different the one in the middle. So now S of I minus one is gonna be equal to S of I minus our chart count. Awesome. Um, forgot here the N. And what are we gonna do here? We're gonna simply increase our chart count by one. And that's gonna be part of our result. So when we do our result, we're gonna say is equal to chart count minus one. And minus one because when we are analyzing, for example, S, we move to one neighbor to the right. So that's one solution. But then we move one more to the right and that's not a solution but we actually increased already the variable of char count. So we need to decrease it by one because the last one is never a solution. So we decrease that by one. And now we simply return our variable result. So let's check it out. Let's run the code just to make sure the first test cases succeed. And we got an error. Uh, we made a compilation error. So index is out of range. So let's take a look what we did wrong here. Look, we have a typo here, S of I plus one. Okay, so now that will fix it. So we can go back, we can click on run again, and there we go. All test cases completed successfully. So now let's submit our code and see if this works for all the cases. And there we go. Awesome. We completed special string again challenge on HackerRank. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please make sure to like this video using the button below. Also leave a comment. If you also like the video, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.